Mana Crystal. The Mana Crystal, a pure crystal containing a fearsome power. The magic war that begun over this mysterious power lasted over 100 years and ended with a surprising solution called the Sky Arena. Under the supervision of the Council of Summoners, all disputes were settled by battle in the arena. The victorious would be granted anything their hearts desired. The first rule of the arena was simple. Accept the challenge. Those who are ready will deserve the honor of victory. Alright, greetings game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate and this is Summoner War. Uh, I was actually asked to do a video on this by somebody. I got an email, and they were like, hey, you want to do this? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, could be opportunities in the future for you. I'm like, double yes. And now I'm making this video. And to download this game, there is a link in the description. That is going to help me out if you download it through that link. I hate to accost you right out the gate with this stuff, but it's kind of a big deal for me. So if you want to help me out, that would be awesome. Now, uh, I'm going to get into this a little bit more. This is going to also be kind of a touching base on my channel thing, and also the GPD XD2, and the lack thereof, but we'll, we'll get to that. Firstly, let's choose a name. How about Science Slumber Party? No, that's a terrible name. Um, all right, let's see if I can use the name Kite. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! All right. Intro time. Oh, hello, girl. Hello, island in the sky. You made it. I've been waiting for you. Oh, have you now, Elia? I'm Elia, and I'll be assisting you from here on out. It's an honor, and I'll do my best till the day you rule the arena. We've all been abuzz with excitement. You came very highly recommended by Durand. By the way, how do you know Durand? Secret. I've got a message from him. Haha, <laughs> my friend, you finally decided to join the arena. I'm glad to hear you'll be joining the forces. Times have been tough. You see, the Council of Magicians has many obstacles to overcome. The arena must be protected at all costs to resolve conflicts and keep the strong from overpowering the weak. Though, I wouldn't object if you rose to the top to take it all. <laughs> but that's the way the world turns, and it's time for you to take full control. I'll be looking forward to watching you. Sounds like Duran's putting all his faith in you. I've been running around preparing here and there, but fixing this place up will be no easy task. But I have faith in you. Let me introduce you to the island. You need mana stones to use magic. This is the Pond of Mana. This wondrous pond somehow attracts mana into the water. Be sure to visit it often to collect your mana. Click! Click on the mana pond. Where my koi live also. The, the mana koi. Shh. Next, I'll take you to the most important place. Summoning something. I missed that. Dang it. Summoning, summoners, summoning ring. Here, summoners call upon their monsters for battle. I have one unknown summon scroll. Why don't you summon one now? I want to see your summoning abilities. Okay, boop, push the summon. Boop, push that. Boop. You can summon a monster between one to three. Shiny! Oh yeah, it's a wolf man's. I kind of think that the beginning ones are set in stone. Hellhound. A hellhound? The swift attacker. Your summoning abilities really are impressive, as they say. Let's try something stronger this time. Use a mystic scroll to perform a mystical summon. Using a mystical scroll will allow you to summon powerful three-star monster or better. 
I'm sure this will be a piece of cake for you. Of course it will, because I just click that button, then I click that button, then I summon a stronger monster for three to five. Let's see what it is. Bet it won't be an angel woman for healing. Okay, I was I was wrong. It's a fairy. But either way, I knew it was going to be a fairy. I just forgot that I knew it was going to be a fairy. Thanks, fairy. Wow, that was flawless. It's clear there's nothing more for me to teach you about summoning. Next, we have the gateway. Shall we? Yes, I pushed the buttons. You can teleport to battle arenas through the gateway. The energy required for dimensional movement is generated here, too. I've prepared a battle practice field in the Gar Gar Garen Forest nearby. Now that we've summoned your monster, how about a warm-up? Yes, let us go! Bloop! Bloop! I think it's because my hands are so cold, because my basement's cold, that it's having some trouble here. Battle! New battle! Three energy battles! Select you as a leader, then you as a secondary. That's how you create squads. Vermos! It's just practice, so no pressure. Let's begin. The only thing that'll happen badly if you lose is you die. <coughs> Favorable, unfavorable, and fair. Good for me. How about you do a double strike on Hogboy to the right? Yeah! Now hit the other one. Uh-oh, he attacked, but I'm okay. You can change the battle speed. I always put it to battle speed three. And then, I honestly hit the play button. And that's one of the nice things about this game, is it just kind of takes care of everything for you, if you really want it to. Which can be boring, but it also, like, you have to watch. And I often play with the tactic of focus fire on one enemy to wipe them out. But right now, it's really low, so it doesn't matter. It can, it'll play itself and be fine. Incredible! This was way too easy for a summoner like you. Or rather, you didn't even need the practice. We got a new summon scroll. Looks like it's our lucky day. Hmm, what monster will be summoned from this scroll? Let's go back and see. She's so excited to summon monsters. It's like they're Pokemans. I mean, this game does remind me a lot of Pokemon. Shh, sorry, alarms. Ooh, hello, Swordman. Vagabond. I like that we're just like, you know, let's just pull this Vagabond from somewhere in the world. <laughs> Ah, they're on my team now, and he's just like, cool, I wasn't doing anything anyway, I mean, I'm a vagabond. I didn't have anything going for me. Ah, it's a vagabond with wind attributes this time. That makes three monsters with different attributes. Now you can fully utilize the cyclical attribute relationships in battle. You remember them, right? Yeah, yeah, fire beats air, air beats wind, wind beats fire, water, Wa water beats fire, bear, and dark magic beats light, light magic are equal in. <clears throat> of course! I, of course I remember. Water beats fire, fire beats wind, and wind beats water. Easy, right? Yeah, that's what I just said. Uh, yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Durand left you something. What did he leave me? Is it a puppy? This is a magical rune you can engrave on your monster. It contains the power to make your monster stronger. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Bleep, 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 bleep. Engrave, yes. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through and bore you with the deets. Because it'll teach you when you play. Because you're going to play, right? Link in the description. Come on, guys. Help me out. <coughs> Sorry. Um, uh, the rune magic was successful. You can see the difference. That's not all. You can also use runes to power up. Let's try the rune power up this time. Okay. Beep. Beep. What does it cost me? I forget. Oh, it cost 100 coin. What? 100 demands. Well, there's also a chance of that failing. So it, as you get higher in level, you'll probably fail more often. Just to warn ya. Wow, you're a natural. I know. I'm all natural. They say. I knew you could do it. Great job. Did you know that all the runes are divided into sets? They become stronger if you collect every rune in a set. Would have been nice if Durand could have given us the whole set. They say a monster is only as powerful as his rune engraving. Well, guess we can't do anything but collect them ourselves. 
Now, we need to power up your circle. This is a must-have if you want to power up your monsters. Monsters level up and power up through power-up circle. Ready to summon a building at this time? No need to be nervous. Yep, do it. Bleep, blop, boop, beep. Scrip, bop, bop, boop. That's where I want it. Yes. I'm a professional. All right. Uh, that's there now. Let's hurry in. That wasn't so bad, right? We are ready to power up the monsters now. First, let's try the power up of the Hellhound. I've prepared the power up as needed. Okay, thank you. Boop. Boop. Ah, I'm gonna. This is one of the most demented, like, cycles in video games, like this, in my opinion. Okay, now we're just gonna take you, little guy, ground you up into powder. Ah, ah, and now eat that, buddy. Perfect. Now you've leveled up. Fantastic. Now your Hellhound's a level higher. Congrats, the Hellhound leveled up. You can always level up your monsters through battles, but you can use the power-up circle to level up faster. There's another step after you reach the max level, but that's not important right now. I'll tell you about it later. That one is, it's, it's cool when you finally get your monsters leveled up and get to start doing that stuff. Like I said, I used to play this game. I played it for about a year, and then my phone started acting wonky, so I uninstalled it and I never went back. But it's a fun game. I wouldn't be here on this channel asking you guys to click that download link in the description if not for the fact that I actually do enjoy the game. Also, you can play against friends, so if you download it and let me know, we can battle! It'll be great! Except for I'm pretty sure on my phone it's under Conti or Contemplate, so... Anyway, moving on! I think that about covers it. The rest is... Hmm... A message for Durand. Let's check it out. Okay, Durand, you needy little bugger. I was curious about how the arena preparation was going. I assume things are going well. Actually, I believe you... Actually, I believe you're more than ready for it. You already possess the skills to enter the arena. Don't be alarmed, but I've already registered you for the arena. <laughs> well, sooner or later, it's going to happen. Doesn't matter who does it. You can thank me later. <laughs> there will be an arena portal opening up soon on your island, so keep your eye out for that. Also, I have a small task favor to ask of you. I'm sure you're familiar with Garen Forest nearby. There seems to be a sudden outbreak of monsters in the Garen Forest. Can you find out what's going on? The Council of Magicians are investigating, and it's taking time. We're busy here. Don't be afraid, there's just forest monsters, so it'll be good practice. <laughs> I'll be waiting for the good news then. Wow, Duren's not very patient, is he? He already registered you for the arena. That means we'll need to hurry up. So what's up with those monsters in the Garen Forest? It used to be such a peaceful forest. What could have happened? I don't know! Crazy stuff! Of course, they're daily bonuses, so every day you come back and do the game, you get bonuses. So, it's cool like that. Uh, standard fare for this type of game. So, bloop, let's get a new monster. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, you have to click on these to get rid of that. Close that, challenge there. Oh, what's our challenges? So, you've got your challenges that you're actively in investigating into. I don't know, wait. Oh, I can collect all this. <laughs> oh, yes. Give me more. I want them all. And, of course, as you complete... Oh, I'm a level dose now. Boop, 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 boop. My apologies for the uh, drop in audio quality and no game music here. But I did want to throw this in real quick, just to show you what the game looks like after you've leveled up a little bit. As you can see, I am level 8, and my name is, in fact, Contemplate. So I don't know why on my iPad it was telling me not to use perverse words or whatever. But either way, uh, I just want to show you a couple things like this. Your expansion on your island over here. So as you go, I think you get three expansions, including this first one, so three total. And uh, yeah, I think it's friggin' awesome the way the place builds. Also, there's your arena floating in the sky over there. So also, let's go to this real quick. Something else you get a little bit later on is the uh, Temple of Wishes. Would you like to make a wish? Yes, please. I think you get one free wish a day, but you can also do uh, microtransactions to get 
more wishes. So it's pretty cool. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh cool. Actually, that's actually a good item. A rune. Ooh, a violet, violent rune. Jeez, awesome. That's a pretty freaking good one. That's a good grab. Okay, so also, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, your your defense here. Uh, people can attack you and you have to build your defenses. That's what these towers are. Also, you have your shop here. So you can go into your shop and buy different things, whatever you want. Maybe you need to complete a set and you can get runes in here and it changes every hour or so. I'm not exactly sure. Or you can refresh it by using uh, three of your gemerald things, the, the, the pink ones. Uh, usually there, there will always be one unknown scroll and I always buy that just because that gives you a little boost of creatures you can summon. Let's hurry and summon a couple creatures. I should have a couple scrolls right now. Nope, nope, nope. Summon. Summon. Ooh, exclusive summoning list has been... Ooh, cool. But I just want to summon this guy real quick. Boop. Let's see what it is. What will it be? Da -da -da -da. A tree man. Great. It's, a, it's, an, it's an int forest keeper. So yeah, he's going to be material to level up my other creatures with my devious plans. So here's your arena where you can uh, choose your people who you will attack with. Um... This actually gives you the same menu as if you were going to here. So I find it kind of funny that that's the same basic interface. But if we go into here... No, not that. Stop it. Stop it. All right, here we are. Here's the arena. So yeah, it, it takes you to the same place. Uh, these are people you can play in the community. Um, you can also call upon your friends to help you out uh, as you go through. Uh, these are the rivals, so it's basically they're just testing you, and yeah, you, they get harder and harder as you go, and I'm not going to fight one of them. I'm going to fight somebody random. I'm going to choose this, uh, let's see, um, level 4 person here, uh, Enget. Yeah, battle them, because I can probably win. I, I try to choose battles that I'll win, even though I won't always win, even though I should, theoretically. But anyway, let us see how this battle goes. Again, apologies for the lack of sound. Now, I'm pretty confident I'm going to win, so I'm just going to hit play here. And something I failed to mention earlier is hitting the play button and letting it run is a really easy way to just grind for levels. And you will spend a fair amount of time grinding for levels unless you choose to spend money, which I almost never do, which says something about the game considering I played it for months and never spent any cash. It's... It's got enough give that you can really earn your way up through the ranks without spending any real world money. But if you're impatient, there's always that option. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you really quick. And uh, back to my other recording. Thanks for barking, pup. Boo. Alright, so that's actually where I'm going to leave this. Because, again, it's a fun game. You can customize your island. I mean, you can even move the trees around. Like, I don't like that tree here. I want it there. Perfect. So, it's pretty dang cool it's, it's an enjoyable game uh, like I said if this goes well because I was asked to play this game there are chances for me to have more opportunities in the future through the company who contacted me so if you guys would give me some help here and uh, download the from the link in the description that would be awesome you know like I said you don't even have to play it just download it and then you'll probably play because it it's a fun game it takes a little bit of space though so be ready for that anyway Let's zip away from here. Might as well keep this uh, screen recording going. So the next thing we were here to talk about is the GPD XD 2, or the lack thereof. Um, so everybody knows that the GPD XD 2 has been in limbo for quite some time. And as you can see on my screen, this is what they're bringing out. And it's interesting. It, it's a little bit disappointing, but it's better than nothing. It's the GPD XD Plus. It looks just like the GPD XD on the outside, but it's what inside that counts, am I right? Other than the 360 hinges for it would have been fantastic. But whatever, moving forward, we may not be getting that, but we do, uh, we are getting this. And this is a pretty cool uh, alternative, I guess, not alternative, but we're, instead of getting the thing we wanted, we're getting this and this is okay. It's a stand in, I guess. Uh, it's the GPD XD Plus. So, the reason it's Plus is because it now comes with Android 7.0 and, I believe, 4 gigs of RAM. 
That's awesome. That's what I was asking for. It's four gigs of RAM and a newer version of Android, and they're giving us this. I believe from what I heard, the reason they're upgrading it is because the uh, old rock chip uh, car, uh, chips that they were using apparently aren't being made anymore, so they had to upgrade it, and since they were being forced to upgrade what chipset they were using, they just decided to bump everything up a few steps. So I'm extremely happy for this. Uh, this says it's a 32 gigabyte version. I'm sure there are different versions of it. Uh, right now, I think you can only like pre-order them. Like I looked on eBay and I don't see any of them on eBay yet. And uh, one of the other sites I looked at does have one for $200, but it's a 32 gigabyte. And if I'm gonna buy a new one, which I really want to, cause this is my GPD XD. And I'm gonna show you it up close here in one second. But yeah. And they're upgrading it in several ways. Also supports a, a an 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So that's pretty cool. It's it's everything that I was asking for minus the bigger display and 360 hinge, which sadly, ugh, it'd be very valuable. It'd be nice. So check this out. This is why I want a new one. This is why I, I like, cause I love this system and I don't just want it cause it has Android 7.0 and it'll play newer games like Shadow Gun Legends, which is something I really want to play on it. But it's just, it's got the higher RAM and everything. So it's going to be more powerful and that's awesome. But check this out. This is why I need a new one guys. Look at these buttons here. Look at that. These are all wiped away. I know you can't hear me that well, but these are all rubbed away. <laughs> also, I dropped it a while back, and I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but this right, nope, oh, oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on, let's get some focus. Come on, buddy. Come on, Brian. Come on, buddy. Okay, you can't see it all that well, but right here, focus, focus. There we go. Right here, you can see it's beat up a bit, and it doesn't click. Like, I don't know that you can hear it or not, but I have to click clear up here instead of out here. So I dropped it and cracked that. Also, right here, it is splitting open and the screws under here are stripped out so I can't even tighten it up. So, sorry about the bad audio quality there for a second, but yeah, this this bad boy I've drug around so much that it is getting beaten to smithereens. So even though we're not getting the GPD XD2 at this time at least, and I don't believe ever, uh, at least we'll be getting the GPD XD Plus. So yeah, that's really what I wanted to touch base on. Uh, my channel will continue to produce two videos a week at the very least, I've actually been managing to cram one or two more in, depending on what they are about, uh, such as the uh, 1,000 subscriber, 4,000 view hours thing that YouTube did to us. But you know, yeah, that that was I, I made a video about that. In fact, look, there's a link to it right there. It's for right there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Am I pointing at the right place? Maybe, maybe should be right. Anyway, uh, yeah. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I enjoyed making it. I'm I'm excited for the GPD XD2, or I mean the GPD XD Plus. But I'm still a little bit sad that we're not getting the GPD XD2. But hey, what you gonna do? Also, don't forget, Summoners War is a fun game. I enjoy it, and it would help me out a great deal if you downloaded it from the link in the description. I know I'm droning on about it. But I'm really excited to have this opportunity, especially given the fact that YouTube has gone, hey, you want your monetization? <laughs> Conti, huh? We know you have well over the amount of time that we've required before, but no, you can't have it. Here, come get it up here. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this time, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and uh, make sure to let me know what you want to see happen on this channel down in the comment section below. Also, if you like, go check out my social media. It is down in the... Oh, I always do this. It's down in the description. Right alongside the download for Summoner's War. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time, guys. The game has just begun. Peace.